Man, this guy, we go way back. I mean, six, seven years. Mm -hmm. I remember when he first performed at the Red Room Lounge. He was doing this thing. He had, I would say, like the most energy out of everybody in the room. Right. This kid was turned up. Right. Man, him pretty much has changed numbers the day we met. And we've been rocking ever since. Um, one thing I can say about him, he's hard working. He's been consistent with music since day one. You know, er, and he pretty so, much started from nothing. You know, I'm mean? now yeah, if you you can't really go nowhere around town and not hear about SK. You know, this man been putting in work, putting in work. I know he had kind of a delay on the long clock, but right. it's finally here. Everybody been going crazy, all on Facebook, all on IG, all on Snapchat. Waiting for this CD, it's finally <laughs> out. He been waking motherfuckers up. Now he's gonna really wake them up with the CD. The show and prove yeah, the yeah, skills yeah, that this man it, got. You know, you know Young SK. What's happening, man? What's going on, bro? Live in the flesh, man. You know, Young SK, though. You know, cooling as always, man. You feel me? Just trying to really just keep that consistency going for TAC2. You know what I'm saying? But right now, we got the alarm clock here in my hand, man. Hosted by DJ Dez and DJ Phil. I salute to them, you know what I'm saying? Salute to all the support that's been going on in the city, too, man. I, I never would imagine it, man, at a rate that it was going, you feel me? So that shit really mean a lot to me and really appreciate the people. They still rock with me even when I was in there. Definitely, man, you definitely, know what I'm man. So, um, I definitely want to say I'm proud of you, man. You done came pretty much a long way. I always yeah. knew, like, from the first moment I seen you, I always knew you had potential. Yeah, And you yeah. had it in you, and it just... Great to see you stuck with it. You yeah, still yeah, 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 um, yeah, yeah. So we finally got the long clock on. I mean, I hate to ask you, but um, what was kind of the hold up on the, the situation? I know you've been making songs and yeah. doing music for a long time. Yeah. So this is your first project, right? Mm-hmm. It was like, oh, yeah, yeah, this is my first project right here. Um, The keep it of being with you, like the reason why it was such a delay on it, because it's like, you go through your ups and downs, you Definitely. know what I'm saying? Ins and out of music, yeah. but life itself, you feel me? So I try to keep everything on the low, low, but at the time, you were feeling stressed out, depressed about everything just going wrong. But at the meantime, I got such a love for this music, you know what I'm saying? That will always pull me to keep going and keep, keep rocking out, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then at the same time, as the years was going by, I was elevating my sound. It sounded way more different. Definitely, definitely. So that was another thing too. So I just was at the same time still working on my craft because this is my first project. So yeah, you I really wanted work. to make a yeah. a good stamp. Same. You know what I'm saying? Definitely. Just for the long wait. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, I gotta oil to the people. You know what I'm saying? I would. It would. It would be a downer to myself to hit the people saying they've been waiting for two years and. It was straight trash, you yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I couldn't have that, you know what I'm saying? So I really made sure this shit was, was the shit, you feel me? So, And I appreciate all the people, like I said, that's been rocking with me because they're appreciating it. And that's making me appreciate more doing it, you know yeah. what I'm saying? So that would keep me motivated, you know what I'm saying? Just the people appreciate you for the music. You know? So um, when you dropped, like last month? Yeah, yeah, early last month, yeah, right out What's been some of the feedback you've been getting? Oh, uh, mainly on Facebook or in person, you know. Man, it's been a, <laughs> it's been a lot of love, yo. Like I've been getting a lot of love, like from a little bit of everywhere, you know what Definitely. I'm saying? So it's like to see it, it just opened my eyes. Like yo, I I really got people rocking with me, even when I didn't believe in myself. You feel? Yeah. Me? So it's like for that to happen, it's just like yo, this I got it. I'm, I'm good. You feel me? Like I got people rocking with me. So at the at the at the same time. You know, I just really just want to keep, like, keep the consistency rolling, you know what I'm saying? So, that's why I'm working on TAC2, you know what I'm saying? Just ready to come back even strong, you know what I'm saying? Because I feel like over the time, it was just the tip, tip of the iceberg, you yeah, know what I'm saying? So, I feel like, I through them two years, I was elevating my sound way just inside the cut, though, you know what I'm saying? Okay. So, now, this time, I got this out. The weight off my shoulders, I ain't, you know what I'm saying? So it's for the public. So now I can focus on different things now, you know what I'm saying? I'm still gonna promote this heavy, mm -hmm. you feel me? But I just gotta, you know, try to do it now on a timely basis now. Just yeah, wait yeah. so long or something, you know what I'm saying? Because the people want it, the people like it. Yeah. So I, I got the I've been saying the feedback, man, they, they, mm -hmm. they definitely messing with it. Um, so you talking about you pretty much wanted to perfect your sound mm -hmm. um, and make sure the music is right. Who are some of the people you work with on the mixtape? Uh, I got my homeboy Ed the Realist on there. Okay. Um, I got 
I got my homeboy Bri Rock TJ, aka Nile on there. Um, like a rock, uh, Nuna Goon, Young Asco. So you know, I've been working with a handful of um, artists in the city. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Through all sides. You know what I mean? Just you know, I recognize good music. You feel yeah. me? That come first with anybody. It's not about what you do outside the studio, cause that's not why I'm rocking with you. If you making good music, I salute you. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So. If I hear them, like, bro, let's work. You know what I'm saying? So, all them songs that just came, they came with good songs. So, you know what I'm saying? I was like, man, I got to keep these for the tape. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? So, I work with a handful of artists, like, features, too. You know what I'm saying? So, salute everybody. We going to keep working, keep working. You know what I'm saying? So, shout out to everybody that was rocking with me on the CD, too. You know what I mean? Catch on. I know, like, people in the industry, um, like, they really got a, a habit of sending tracks. So, What's your process though? How you like working with the artists? Like you like going to the same studio? Or oh yeah, that's how it usually happen. And they email you. Yeah, and that's you. how it usually happen. Like um, like, like a lot of artists, we all go to the same yeah. studios. You know what I'm saying? I think some of the best music come out that way. Then yeah, email. Oh yeah, email yeah, yeah, yeah. You gotta be in the booth together. Off each other. Like, you gotta, yeah. you gotta link up because it's just like the energy you feed off another mm -hmm. artist that's just putting two heads together to create a song. It makes the studio vibe even way better, and the song will come out dope. So that's why I fought with niggas like we go in the studio, link up, and work. You know what I'm saying? So you know what I mean. It ain't nothing to get up with me. You know what I'm saying? Just hit me up. You know I'm willing to work with anybody. You know what I'm saying? So okay. Um. So we're gonna we're gonna take them all the way to the to the beginning. Um. Like I said, I remember the first time I met you. I think it was the Red Room Lounge. It might yeah. have been before that. But yeah. Like, that was the first time I really remember me you. Yeah. When did you initially first get started with music, and what made you want to get started with music? I mean, what happened was like back in the day. You know what I'm saying? All my my big cousins, they'll come from out of town. You feel me? And they all just be rapping. You know what I'm saying? I ain't know what it was. I wasn't young at the time, but it sounded dope. Yeah. So, you know what I'm saying? I'm just listening, you feel me? So, you know, and then that really just got me going on rapping. But then I listened and started. My boy Teez, he took me in the booth, you know what I'm saying? And that made me get into the studio. I was rapping at first, but then I went to the studio with Teez. That okay. showed me how to format a song and make it. You know what I'm saying? Salute my dog Teez, you know what I'm saying? But it is I've been doing this since high school for real for real. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like me and my boy Tone, we was in a group called the Rich Town Representatives. You know what I'm saying? And going in there I had to keep it consistent with that too. You feel me? <clears throat> so it went back to like oh seven. You feel me? That's how long I've been doing it, you feel me? So it's just starting to turn around now. Yeah. You feel me? Like I said, sometimes come different before you know what I'm saying? So like, I know my time gonna come. I just gotta keep pushing and keep, keep going. You feel me? Okay. So that's how that's going. Um, what would you say is, like, one of your biggest growth from 07 when we first get start, got started to actually now in mm -hmm. 2016? What is some of the growth that you've seen? I mean, yourself? as far as growth in myself, I feel like, you know, as an artist, you, you feel me? You gotta find yourself. You know what I'm saying? So... As the time was going by, I was trying out different sounds, different flows to really find who Young as Kate was, you feel me? Because it was just for fun at the time. We all doing it, we in high school, we chilling. But now, is at the point where like I, I got to really make my music now for for people to like it, you know what I'm saying? So I got to really work on my craft. I want to come at these people correct. So when you hear Young as Kate song off the rip, you know what I'm saying? It's, I wanted to be the best one, Yeah. you know what I'm saying? So... That's what made me really pat pat my, my style down. You know what I'm saying? I keep it me. I keep it myself. Like I said, I, I love to have fun, man. I don't really promote nothing crazy. You know what I mean? I turn up. Who? I be lit. I ain't gonna lie. You know, your ass can't be lit. Yeah, man. definitely. You know, definitely. other than that, man, I just make I just want to make fun music. Just turn up too, man. Go crazy too. That's all I really be wanting, you know what I'm saying? All the extra shit, I keep that, you know what I'm saying? I like that you said that, because um, I was going to ask you, like, what's your... I know you've been real positive. Like, I don't see you all on Facebook, Instagram, nah, no one that know other rappers. Nah, like, with you, man, it's been pretty that. much all of, yeah. all across the board. You yeah, know? yeah, you yeah, pretty yeah, much man. got mutual respect for a lot of artists. Yeah, that's that's that what you friendly. need. That's what you need, bro, you feel me? Like, it's, 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 it's too much beef going on in the city now. I hate to see my city going through that, because there's so much... 
it, it's a lot of talented artists here yeah. anyway. And like I said, I ain't afraid to show love to nobody. If I recognize that I see it, you know what I'm saying? Because I know it's hand in hand. If you see me working, I see you working, I'm like, bro, keep doing your thing, bro. And I'm like, you know what I mean? So with that, and it's all about showing love, you know what I'm saying? I just, it, they used to call it the hate on for a reason. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so if it's just going to be one person just to really just, Go against the grain and try to, you know, show love because we all in the same boat as Richmond. Yeah, we got to yeah. put on for each other, you know what I'm saying? I always say we can be like the next Atlanta or something, you know what I'm saying? Make people want to come. Shit, everybody been coming here, but they had the um, the OBA fest yeah. with Lil Uzi Vert, hey, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, like, niggas coming down here. So, it's like, shoot, we, they know Richmond, y'all. So, mm -hmm. it's like, bro, if we keep putting on each other, bro. And they gonna know us, bro. They gonna yeah. the artists wanna gonna come down here for these shows. Like, yeah, you such and such, blah blah. blah. Like, yeah, it work. You know what I'm saying? So that's how we gotta keep it. So it's like we all just gotta put on for each other, man. That's why I just so support and so love, man. Everybody in the city keep working. Okay. Man, honestly, I do feel like yeah, a lot of artists that did come up with beef tracks, they did get a whole lot of views, but at the end of the day, ain't none of them get signed from it. So, like I said, the music gonna speak for itself. If right. you hot. Just make good music and, mm -hmm. you know, like you say, come together and mm -hmm. that'll get you on at the end of the day faster than you dissing the next man trying to bring him down. Yeah, that ain't getting you more well, so. They can have that, man. You know, I just show love and just, I just love to see everybody work and make good music, man. Like, like in my phone, I got more RBA artists than the industry artists, bro. You definitely, know what I'm saying? Definitely. So, I love riding to my local, man. Y'all just keep making that good music, you know what I'm saying? I don't really get no uh, man business what they handle is between me and them, you know what I'm saying? But that don't make me get in the middle of that. I just show love, you know what yeah. I'm saying? So it's like, y'all handle that, y'all too many, y'all do what y'all do, you know what I'm saying? But I don't know, I ain't gonna get into that. <laughs> um, so how you get the name Young SK? Well, I had to, um, my name used to be Young Sketch at the time. I remember, I remember. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. When I was first, just like I was just coming out, you know what I'm saying? So. <laughs> I just changed it, you feel me? To so Young SK. So for Sketch. Yeah, for Swagger King, you yeah, know what I'm saying? So it's like, that's how I feel like when I'm on that stage, man. I just, I be swagged, I be turned, I be lit. I just love to hit that stage, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, y'all already know I hit that stage. Yeah, stadium, yeah, man. definitely. I mean, you know? they don't know they can check you out on YouTube. Yeah, I know. Exactly. Turned up. Um, So I know you got a good relationship with Rally Triple X. Yeah, that's bro. How y'all link up? Um, for real, for real, like, we go way back. For us, high school, you know what I'm saying? So, he was in a group at a time. I was at a group at a time, but like I said, he seen me working, so he wanted to link up, you know what I'm saying? So, I'm like, all right, let's, let's get it, you know what I'm saying? We've been in the crib, making good music, vibing out, you know what I'm saying? And, like, we always constantly work, so I was like, I was liking it over there, you know what I'm saying? So... You just continued it out, you know what I'm saying? And me and bro just been rocking there since. You know what I'm saying? Just trying to do what we do, just show you folks what you we love. You're very talented too, man. Yeah. Shout out to Rudder Triple X. Catch on campaign, you already know what it is, man. You know I put on for, man. Nobody up, man. You know what I mean? Y'all still rocking the shirts, man. I ain't seen the shirts in a while. Man. I know, man. I got to get the shirts Catch back on. out, man. I got to get the shirts back out, bro, because everybody rock with them Jones, man. Yeah. I've been having so much good feedback get on the Get them in different colors, man. Yeah, I got Red you. Red and white one, man. Need me a shirt. I got yeah. you, bro. In fact, I got you. Um, all right, so you've been doing music for about seven, eight years. Um, mm -hmm. So when we first got pretty much started with this whole music thing, I know it was GMGB, mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. Dedicated, um, Cut Fam, all those great artists. And now mm -hmm. we pretty much got a new generation of artists yeah, doing yeah, that yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you think is the biggest difference between then and now? I mean... As far as the Richmond music scene. Cause I mean, we pretty much. I mean, like, shout out to my dog Mim Ten. You know okay. what I'm saying? He, he always, been for a minute. yeah, he always be telling me like the new generation got it right now. You feel me? Like we got all these big artists coming down here. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Open enough for them. Okay. You feel me? So it's like we getting opportunities. You know what I'm saying? And the, and the OGs see that. You know what I'm saying? So when they see us working, you know what I'm saying? They salute that. You feel me? So far as like the scene, I mean. I don't like the scene. 
I mean, the sound, well, I'm, you know, it's, it's not a defined Richmond sound. Mm -hmm. You feel me? I'm not going to say that, but it's like. I do miss the dedicated. You know what I'm saying? You know how they sound yeah, was. Yeah. You feel me? You know, you know how J-Mac still rock. Yeah, shout out to J-Mac too. That rated our mix they crazy too. Definitely, you know what I'm saying? So, that's what I'm saying. Like, on his joint, he had Nala, King Delt. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Who so else? Uh, uh, Pretty much like with Gucci Man though. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So, he working with. This time, you know yeah, what I'm saying. So definitely. that's who it. That's the change, you know what I'm saying. When you see that, when the OGs want to work with the youngs, it, it, it it's sweet like that, respect. you know what I'm saying. So it's respect all the way. You feel me? You gotta salute so a lot of the people that was doing it before you, you know what I'm saying. So, uh, um, why do you feel like it's so hard for a Richmond artist to really blow up in this market? Do you think it's pretty much a dead end market, or you got to go out in Atlanta or LA I mean, to make it? I mean, if you if you want to know my perspective on it, I feel like you have to get out of Richmond. Yeah. Point blank, period. You know what I'm saying? Not saying it is impossible, but you know what I'm saying? You got to be hitting these spots if mm -hmm. you want to be known. So, you feel me? You can go to Atlanta and turn up. You got Atlanta, Alabama, Mississippi. You rock out there. Whoever knows who they're there, tell that person. So, it's all about just spreading your, your, your work. You feel yeah. me? So... You got to go out and try. I've been to D.C. Okay. I've been to Philly. You know what I'm saying? I rocked out in Philly with my dog, Rail. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, and we they was rocking with us. Mm -hmm. Philly was showing big love. I ain't even expect that shit. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, you. If I real big on music, too. Yeah, they, they told me niggas to boo your ass if you suck, bro. <laughs> <laughs> so we like, so they showing right. love. So it's like, they gave me the, the perspective, like, if we can do this here, bro, we can do this shit anywhere. Anywhere, yeah. So we, we got to rock out. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like, I, I put on for my city every time, though. You feel me? So when when I do get on and they hear the product, I'm like, bro, I'm from Richmond. Yeah. It's more artists like me in my city turning up. You know what I'm saying? So take a look at them, dog. You know what I'm saying? Because it's more where that came from. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So I feel like that... You we we got to do that. Eric, like shout out Ed the realest. Everywhere he go, that nigga putting on for obvious crazy. Definitely, you know definitely. what I'm saying? So you got to do that. You know what I'm saying? So we putting on. So when they come come here, everybody be coming here. That's where everybody be coming. All these shows that come for all the artists come here. They know about Richmond. So yeah. we just got to keep rocking, keep going. All right. So um, I don't heard a lot of artists is pretty much popping within the city. Like say. You know, if you want me to, are you paying all these major artists to come to the city? If you want me to perform at your venue, you gotta pay me. What's right. your take on that? I mean, cause that is, I look at it's two sides of it. Mm -hmm. Let's say Richmond works away. I know a lot of artists probably won't get paid for do that, but mm -hmm. it's a lot of exposure. Mm -hmm. It could be yeah. the same with something that might be a little smaller, not mm -hmm. as big as that venue, but. I feel I mean, like money and everything, you know, yeah. exposure uh, uh, gets you further than what you gotta you know, do. It's like a short term sacrifice to get yeah. further. You gotta do it like that. You gotta hit everywhere you can with how many people in there, you know what I'm saying? Because mm -hmm. you can rock out before the 10 people, but I know 10 people know about 20 people. No. So they gonna tell them, you know what I'm saying? So it's all about just rocking out everywhere, you know what I'm saying? You gotta get with your all anywhere, you know what I'm saying? But far as. The, the promoters and how they handle it. I don't know. I ain't even gonna lie. I don't even get into it. Yeah, I, I, I respect it. it too because it's uh, like you at some point in time when you know how hot you is, you gotta know your work. Yeah, that's yeah. true, and that's all the way. That's facts. You know what I'm saying? And you know, niggas ain't trying to pay him. I guess you know what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. You know how it go. It's Richmond, bro. You know what I'm saying? So, but I feel like I don't. I don't. I don't, I don't pay for some features to keep it a hundred. You know what I'm saying? I don't charge for them. At least yeah. you got not yet anyway. You know what I'm saying? I, I know my work. You know, yeah. I'm turning up out here. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, shit, but, I mean. Yeah, Price is going up when that long clock two drops. Oh, yeah. It got to, bro, because I'm going crazy by then. It got to. That's you true. feel me? So. At some point, you, you do got to change things, though, if you want to. Yeah, man. Situation. Respect it as I a respect business. respect it either way. How you feel you it's my job, so I got to treat it as a business, bro. Um, I know you work with a lot of artists within the city. Um, who's one of the artists you like working with the most? And tell us about that experience. Man, who? Yeah, I work with a lot of folks, man. I'm okay. trying to see who I got the best vibe from, man. I mean, to, to be honest with you, I can't even tell because it's like with me, I'm going to make sure I always give a good vibe in the booth. Mm -hmm. You feel me? So to make, to make the... 
to make the, the song even go crazy. You know what I'm saying? With yeah. me, I'm coming in, bitch, giving my all. And I'm going to amp you up to give you your all, too. If I hear you messing up, i like, bro, no, no, that is not it. You need to work that shit over. Turn, turn, turn it up, bro. <laughs> feel yourself, bro. You feel yeah. me? You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to, we, it's all about Niggas motivating each other to push yeah. ourselves. You know what I'm saying? So I be seeing a lot of the artists. You know what I'm saying? Working with each other. You know what I'm saying? And it's just, that's how you got to have it. You feel me? So, I mean, but I work with a whole lot of people, man. Um, Anybody you didn't work with that you're trying to work with? I don't know now, man. You're listening. I mean, <laughs> it's a lot of, I mean, there's so many artists in the city. Definitely. I ain't even gonna lie. It's hard for me to keep up with them. Yeah. I ain't even gonna lie. You feel me? I know everybody. Everybody mm-hmm. know what I, I be... If I know you want to work with me, I don't know you would hit me up talking about you. We're not saying that, you know what I'm saying, I don't want to work with y'all, but I'm easy to get to, bro. All you got to do is hit me up anywhere, bro. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. There's, there's, also, I'm willing to work with anybody, bro. I'm trying to turn up, you feel me, with anybody that want to work. Shout out to, now nah, I don't want to do no shout outs, man. Shout out to everybody. <laughs> you know me, I salute everybody, bro. Also, I mean, um, there's a lot of dope female artists in the city, too. Yeah, yeah, What's, yeah, yeah. What do you think about the females? Oh, yeah, the females crazy, man. Females going crazy, man. Like, they they really, they showing that they got it, too. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Shout like, out to Jody. Yeah, shout Jody out to Jody. Jody's doing Cakes. Shout out Cakes, That's too. Destiny. Different That's demeanor. Them, yeah. Shout out Shout out all y'all. You know what I'm saying? I see y'all. Shout out Diesel, too. You feel? Oh, yeah, Diesel. Shout out to all the females. Y'all be looking good while y'all do y'all thing, too. I ain't even going well. You know what I'm saying? You shoot some shot at nothing, did it, man. Huh? <laughs> I probably did, man. That's why I didn't want to do it. <laughs> like, y'all just know y'all working, man. You feel me? That's me. Yeah, salute to all the ladies, too. Like, I got to get up. I need a singer. I need somebody to sing. I need a female to sing on my track. I, I, I just want that. That's all I need. So, if y'all trying to work, please. Tell them how they can hit you up, too, while we Oh, yeah. Hit me up on everything, man. I'm Young SK on all social media outlets, man. All the same thing, man. Ain't hard to find, man. If y'all want to work, let me know. You feel me? I ain't going to I ain't gonna put a book into my bio this year. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? I feel like I got a little <laughs> bit more work to do before I do that. You know what I'm saying? So. Alright, so um, I know besides music, you do the graphics too. Yeah, bro. yeah, yeah. How you get started with that? Just playing around with it for real, man. Um, in school, doing other shit in art class. You yeah. <laughs> Got down, just trying out paint and shit, bro. And like just, top five and gra- on the graphics. Oh, yeah, shout out to all the graphic designers yeah. too, man. Like, I, I, I have a... It's like all the producers, no producers, all the videographers, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? I know some shit of graphic designers, so... That shit, that shit be giving me inspiration to get myself back. Yeah, you feel multi-talented, it. man. You know what I mean? So, like I said, hit me up for the graphics. SK you graphics. Didn't come with it. You didn't no, know. no, I didn't do this one. Um, okay. My boy, Master Nov, he did the front. And I just it's finished off. Oh, yeah. That's dope right there. I, you see that? Sitting on that alarm clock, they waiting for that bit to go off. You know what I mean? Oh, really? It went off. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm sitting like, mm-hmm. So, um, what's your goal on like physical copies within the city? I know um, pretty much a lot of it's going to online. Yeah. Downloading and streaming. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I see yeah, you yeah. taking it straight old school, got the hard yeah, copies. What's yeah. your goal? How many cities are you trying to get in the city? Man, I'm trying to get this whole bag on. Definitely. You know what I'm saying? That's 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 the main motive, you feel me? I'm trying to get this out to many as people as I can, you know what I'm saying? So, you know. It's good music. I've been getting good feedback so far. I know y'all will appreciate it. You know That's what I'm good saying? too, man. When you out there just passing out CDs, or even if you sell them, it's like hand in hand. You talking yeah, to your fans yeah. as you giving them music. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And it's like nowadays with social media, it's hard, it's not hard to keep up with people. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So. That's how you gotta do it. You gotta go out and, you know what I'm saying, talk to your folks. You feel me? You gotta do that. In order to gain your fan base. You know what I'm saying? So. That's all. I'm just trying to, you know what I mean, get up. You know what I'm saying? How these people rocking with Young AK, you know what I mean? So, um... I just gotta let the people... I know some of the, my favorite artists within the city, man, um, got locked up, you know. I was like, man, I don't, why the fuck niggas doing that? I mean, you know, I know you gotta feed your family and get money. Like, do you feel like it's hard nowadays to, to balance the two, to leave the street life alone? When you know you right there, like... 
I, I mean, I don't, don't want to say no names, but like Big Giddy, he was right there. I mean, you know, real, I can't really speak on another man's situation, you feel yeah. me, or why he getting it to it, you feel me. That's his choice he got to make, you feel mm-hmm. me. I, I'm not the one to say why wow, he shouldn't do it, you feel me, but I mean, that's how it is sometimes, I guess, bro. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They doing the music, they be turning up. You know what I'm saying? Just something just happened to just get in the way. You feel just me? Out so it's way. like, I can't knock another man for making his choices. You feel mm-hmm. me? So, but I feel like it, it hurt the city. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Definitely. To hear that good music stop. You know what I'm saying? So that's another thing too. So, you know, but far as that go, man, you know, I, I can't, I don't really get into that though. I feel that. Okay. Um. So what else you got going on besides the music? What else you got going on? Uh, you know, uh, still just videos. Oh yeah, I'm working on that now. I'm working on that now. I will be dropping the video out um before before the years out, just to get some off of this. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? So I'm just going through now to see which one I'm gonna put out. You know what I'm saying? Just promote the tape even more. You feel going into two K seventeen, just trying to. Keep it up, you know what I'm saying? And drop what's the next day beyond his case. So just trying to show that consistency and shit, you know what I mean? So, um, you got any plans like from two to three years? Where you see yourself with music? Where you trying to go with it? Man, I'm trying to, I'm trying to be on that double XL cover, man. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm trying to get at. It's like, or the fours or something. Yeah, I'm trying to get somewhere known with music, bro. That's that's my just my goal. You feel me? Like I just wanna, I want my music to be heard everywhere mm-hmm. you feel me I want my I want to be on that stage bright lights in my face going crazy that's my dream I ain't even gonna lie that's why I'm trying to get there so that's why I, don't, I hit the stage now I give it my all bro you mm-hmm. know what I'm saying I don't care who in the crowd I just turn up you feel me because well, I'll just be, I want you to get a good impression off of me you know what I'm saying so but I'm trying to be turn man I'm trying to be at the BET Hip Hop Awards bro you feel me not I'm trying to be on that stage or in the crowd or something. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I'm just trying to get to them points. You feel me? So that's why I'm just aiming to. I just want to be out there. You know what I'm saying? That's why I give them my all. It just be me. Young yeah. SK, that's it. I feel like that's all I got is myself. Shout out to my gang though. Catch on campaign. You already know what it is. Shout out real. You already know raw handy man. Other than that, man, I just I just work. You feel me? Because I feel like I, you just got to keep pushing. You just got to hold your own with this shit. You know what I'm saying? Because another nigga sell you a dream and all this other shit, bro. But don't come through with nothing. So it's like, mm-hmm. fuck that shit, bro. I just going to keep working by myself how I've been doing it. It's got me this far. This, You know what I'm saying? So oh. I'm going to just keep it the way it is, bro. You know what I'm saying? But I'm just trying to just blow. To sum it up. <laughs> We gonna get a catch on um, compilation of mixtape like with all y'all. Is it, is it more artists on the catch on campaign? Or yeah, it just it's just three of us. Okay. Rail, me, Rails, and Raw. Not, and that's it. Okay. Yeah, ain't nobody else. So, like Rail, he working. You know what I'm saying? He going crazy right now. You know what I'm saying? You know his situation, grind time with B sounds. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, I've been hearing a lot about them. So, bro, rocking out right now, and that's a little every bit of that. You feel? Me? My man Raw, he in the cut, you know what I'm saying? He working, he just getting himself together, you know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? As an artist, you know what I'm saying? He want to come out the right way, so we just building this crowd. So when he ready to come out, we going to put Bra on board with it, you know what I'm saying? So we just waiting on so we just going to keep rocking out. That's it. And you got a lot of experience with music too. I can see you pretty much grooming like some of the younger because I ain't gonna say you older now, but. Uh, yeah, you know, I'm, I mean. You, I, I can I see mean, you doing that too. Uh, you know? I ain't, it's crazy, bro. Like, Working with some of the younger, the younger artists, you know, and yeah, it's a, you know. Yeah, it's a lot of young cats out here, man, that's doing their thing, you feel me? Like, shout out to, um, man, I don't know nobody age, but they all be looking <laughs> young. But, um, y'all know me, bro. I rock with the younger, man, because we in the booth. They style be different from my mm-hmm. style, too. I ain't even gonna lie. These little niggas be turned on another level. And I go, okay, I hate you, bro. Turn right <laughs> there, man. But, um, you know, shit, they, they rock with me, you feel me? Because they coming up too, you know what yeah. I'm saying? So they generally just going to follow behind that, you know what I'm saying? So they see us working, and I'm 24, 
Yeah. You feel me? So I'm kind of in the middle. You know what I'm saying? Young, bro. Yeah. Still so. <laughs> All right. So you got the the alarm clock. What's what's your favorite song off the alarm clock? What when, you rocking with? When, I know I'm fucking with that. Keep it real. Yeah. Everybody been rocking with that John too. Shout out everybody that's been rocking with that. I'm just doing me. Okay. You feel me? With my dog Nolly. You know what I'm saying? But uh, one of my favorite joints. Is my joint I did with my dog Ed Rivers. Um, right. Catch on. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Because that song just really basically know, you know what I'm saying, who I do it for and why I do it for. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So that song just really made a statement to people. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just working, just trying to just live my dreams, you know what I'm saying, and make my, pa- my, my parents or my family live their dreams too. You know what I'm saying? So I'm about just making a better life for everybody. So I feel like, you know, I got some potential. To get it out, so it's like, this is what I got to do, man. You know what I'm saying? I've been in it so long. This is all yeah. I know. You know what I'm saying? Just making music. You feel me? I've been, I ain't, I, I ain't go to school. You know what I'm saying? Like other people. i just been in the booth. i just been sticking towards that. So that's all I really know. So I just got to keep grinding until I get there. You know what I mean? You got any more plans of doing any more shows out of town? I know you said Philly was rocking with you. Mm-hmm. You said you went to D.C. Mm-hmm. You been to Atlanta too? Nope. That's the next stop. Okay. That's the next stop. I'm sorry. <laughs> y'all can say what y'all want to say while going to the A. But I'm trying to hit the A, a- mm-hmm. and turn up. For See, real. You might fuck around and move down there. <laughs> Shout out my cousin KK the Beast down there. He down there in the A2. Been rocking out, going crazy. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying. So he definitely want me to come down there and show him a couple of things. You know what I'm saying. So, yeah. Next I was a, hey, 2017. I might be hitting South by Southwest too. I might be. You know what I'm saying. If we get everything, it just might be this. But Atlanta's the Atlanta where I got to go. Facts. Yeah, Atlanta, <laughs> yeah, I'm Atlanta, sorry, man. bro. Atlanta be turnt, man. Not to say my city don't be turnt. I know my city be turning, we gotta get music, but it's like, bro, you listen to, who don't listen to artists from another state? Mm-hmm. Come on, bro. Who don't? So you would want to go down there and let them listen to your music too from your state. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Sean, I be able to do it. So it's all about that. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I say you just gotta go out. You gotta go out and just hit these spots. That's mm-hmm. why I said in the beginning. So it's only right. You know what I'm saying? So then I wanna hit New York. You know what I'm saying? Go to Times Square and shit. You know what I'm saying? My man just went up to Rock Nation and shit. You know what I'm saying? So, seeing yeah. him doing that make me want to do that too. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, it's all about your influences. You know what I mean? So, it's all about just getting out there. That's what all the social media you see everybody else out. Like, yeah. Like you said, Times Square and Snapchat and it. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. So, I got to get out there. Exactly. So, <laughs> everybody knows what's going on. Mm-hmm. Like, how what was going on in the state? You feel me? So I'm like, bro, we gotta that bit straight up. You know what I mean? <clears throat> All right, so um... I'm smack. I did this whole interview smack. <laughs> I ain't even gonna lie. I know y'all can see it. I'm high as a bitch, but you know. They ain't tripping on that. They you know, it's just that. like you know they do these couch interviews. You know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> hope nobody doesn't take this the wrong way or anything because that's not how I do. You know what I'm saying? You know, it's just you know just talking. You know what I'm saying? Thank you. Definitely appreciate you, man. Oh yeah, I appreciate it. First episode, yeah. man. Thank First you, episode. Thank you for the global everything fans, man. My homie SK. Yeah, man. Like Good, I said, man, man. I do this shit for RBA. Salute to everybody in RVA that's motherfucking working, man. I fuck with the whole city. The whole city know that. You know what I mean? I do this for y'all, man. When I when I get on with this shit, man, taking my city with me, man. Y'all gonna Definitely. they gonna know they gonna catch on to this shit, man. Like I always say, bro. You feel me? They gonna know it. You know what I'm saying? So that's all we gotta we gotta lead by example, man. That's all it's about. Tell them again where they can find you at. In case they don't know. I'm young as K. I am. Why you in GSK, man, on everything. Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter, SoundCloud, you know what I mean? You got the um, mixtape that on Dead Pimp too? Yeah, they on uh, Dead Pimp too. We're gonna put that man. link in that description yeah, yeah, so yeah, you yeah. can check that out, man. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, hey, that, yeah go call. check that out. We'll put that in the description. We got y'all. I got you, man. Appreciate that, man. You know, like I said, it's young as Kale. Um, when um, you say you're working on Long Cloud too, mm -hmm. you ain't gotta wait three years for it. No, nah, you definitely not gonna wait three right. years for this cool, one, bro. Cool. I definitely learned my lesson. We not gonna have a long hiatus like we did. Mm -hmm. You feel me? That's why I'm trying to tell you, like, with the consistency, I just gotta keep pushing. So. Did all the songs you recorded for this tape make it? Or you got songs still sitting that, you know what I mean, that you might just let go anytime? You got songs, I'm talking about songs in the cut? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, I got a new sing yeah, I got a new single on the way. Okay. It's called Stop It. That's my new single. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to everybody that heard that joke. I'm going to just promote the tape. Heard it first. Yeah, I'm going to just promote the tape a little bit more through the end of the year. You okay. know what I'm saying? And then 2016, just build that pace up for a long clock, too. Mm hmm. Straight like that. So that's why I'm dropping a new single, Stop It. You know what I'm saying? That jingle go crazy. I'm trying to tell you. Like, I'm going to have a crazy video for it. I'm going dumb. I'm trying to tell you. Young as K going to come back in a big way, cuz. You feel me? But um, I just want, like I said, man, just keep it rolling, man. That's all. All right, man. Um, thank you again, man, all for right, coming man. out, man. Thank you for having me, man. It's it always love, here. man. Since day one. Oh, yeah, yeah. Facts, bro. Facts, man. Yo, that's K, man. We out, man. Um, the grind you gotta respect in the studio. Countless hours making records. I'ma make it. I know it's gonna take some effort. Driving on the road to riches, finna get wrecked. Cause I'm stuck in five o'clock traffic. If I make the wrong turn, I might end up crashing.